Let us pray for the whole people of God and for all people according to their needs. Holy Lord, Heavenly Father, do not let the world distract us from keeping our lamps full. Lord, have us continue to come where you cherish us, where you bring to us sacrament and word, where, Lord, we receive your presence physically, and we receive your spirit and the strengthening of our faith through the, the teachings and the fellowship that occurs. Lord, when we can't come together, when due to disease and other issues we're made to stay home, continue, Lord, to have your word come to us there as well. Do not let us drown in the sorrows and in the troubles and in, in just the daily functions that otherwise would distract us. But Lord, have us remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy so that our lamps are full and we have a bright light when you come, so that our lamps are full and we have a bright light to shine to the world so that they see you when you come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those affected by COVID. We pray for the Munkin family and we pray for those locked in nursing homes like Irma and Marcel and Helen. Lord, let them continue to receive the good oil of faith. Let them have fellowship and word so that their faith is, is continued to fill up and, and maintain. Lord, we pray for those in the world affected by this disease and we ask that it not be something which drives them away from looking to you, but which drives the world back to you to the one light, the one salvation, which can guarantee eternity, which has an answer to this disease. And Lord, we certainly pray this week for our leaders. It is a difficult week when chaos and, and dissension covers our country. And we ask, Lord, that that chaos and dissension might come out in a way which is beneficial to the people of this country that, Lord, what is right will occur, and that, Lord, we know no matter the result that you are still in heaven, that this is still a place where you reign, and that the kingdom is among us, and so all things work together for good, and all authority comes from you. And so, Lord, we pray as a church, filled by faith, that we might come out of this crisis not in fear and anger, but as peacemakers, blessed peacemakers, who look upon the elected official and know, Lord, that his authority to punish evil and to share and do good for those who do good comes from you. And Lord, that we might as a nation come through this a place which is, is better for it, which is a place where we seek out the truths that you teach, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we certainly pray for our soldiers, our policemen, our doctors, our emergency workers, our farmers, our teachers, our parents. Bless them with honorable vocations. Fill their lamps so that their faith is strong and doesn't gutter. Protect their lives. Make life good for them. And Lord, we remember those who have special need in our church. Be with Joe, Margie, Marcel, Lois, and Rodney. And Lord, be with Helen, Rick, John, Bev, Eli, Bev, Herman, Marie, Jack, Lois, Bruce, Val, Stuart, and be with Dick. Lord, give them strength and healing. And Lord, bless them with wonderful lives where their faith also is filled, where they know that what comes is better. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We sing a hymn of thanks, Lord, as we remember the great gifts that you have given us. We sing hymn 334, verses 1 and 4, O Lord, how shall I meet you?
O Lord, how shall I meet you? How welcome you aright. Your people long to greet you, my hope, my heart's delight. O kindle, Lord most holy, your lamp within my breast, to do in spirit lowly all that may please you best. Love cause your incarnation, love brought you down to me. Your thirst for my salvation procured my liberty. O love beyond all telling that led you to embrace. In love all love excelling our lost and fallen race. We join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen. Our closing hymn is Rejoice, Rejoice Believers, hymn 515. Rejoice, rejoice, believers, and let your lights appear. The evening is advancing, and darker night is near. The bridegroom is arising, and soon is drawing nigh. Up, pray, and watch, and wrestle. At midnight comes the cry. The watchers on the mountain proclaim the bridegroom near. Go forth as he approaches with alleluia's clear. The marriage feast is waiting, the gates wide open stand. In triumph cast before him their diadem. I'm sorry. Arise, O heirs of glory. The bridegroom is at hand. The saints who hear in patience their cross and sufferings bore shall live and reign forever. When sorrow is no more, around the throne of glory the Lamb they shall behold. In triumph cast before him their diadems of gold. Our hope and expectation, O Jesus, now appear. Arise, O sun, so longed for, for this benighted sphere. With hearts and hands uplifted, we plead, O Lord, to see the day of earth's redemption that sets your people free. Go in Christ's peace. Amen.